Some creatures are so magnificent that it's difficult to believe they're genuine. Creatures that could only exist in the pages of children's novels and fairy tales. Creatures that are so beautiful, magical, or scary that they could only exist in the human imagination. Well, there are in fact creatures that exist that are unbelievable. That's why in today's video, we'll be discussing legendary animals you may never have known about. The Dire Wolf Don't bother with Jon Snow. Game of Thrones' Stark Hounds are based based on real-life direwolves, who became extinct between 16,000 and 10,000 years ago, and were arguably the biggest canines to ever exist. Direwolves were prehistoric predators with terribly powerful jaws, who lived alongside the renowned saber-toothed tigers. They were fierce, loyal, intelligent, and incredibly hairy. Some people are attempting to breed the direwolf back into life after becoming dissatisfied with HBO's on-screen stand-ins. During the late play Eastocene and early Halocene epochs, 125,000 to 9,500 years ago, the dire wolf roamed the Americas and Eastern Asia. The species was named four years after the first specimen was discovered in 1858. Dire wolf remains have been discovered in a variety of habitats, including North America's plains, grasslands, and some forested mountain ranges, South America's arid savanna, and Eastern Asia's steppes. The vampire deer the South Korean musk deer may appear to be playing tricks on us, but it is a peaceful herbivore who isn't interested in sucking blood. Its prominent fangs are perplexing at first glance. Fortunately, the fangs are actually sabers used by the males during mating season. Humans pursue the vampire deer, but not for its tusks. The scent glands of male Siberian musk deer, Mocus moschiferus, are valued at roughly $20,455 per pound on the illegal market. Their musk is so valuable in the perfume industry that the species has been nearly eradicated. Sadly, it will then become mythical. The Sea Pig We can't decide whether it's the ugliest or prettiest thing we've ever seen, but one thing is certain. This chubby marine creature will leave an incredible impression. It has a delicate pink skin tone and a peculiar body form. Sea pigs are small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, making them an ideal pet if they weren't so difficult to find. Scotoplanes is a deep water sea cucumber genus in the Elpididae family. Sea pigs are the common name for this species. Deep ocean bottoms, notably the abyssal plain in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian oceans, are home to sea pigs, which live at depths of over 1,200 to 5,000 meters. Antarctica has a few species that are related as well. Scotoplanes are deposit feeders that feed on organic particles extracted from deep-sea muck. A giant squid. Any tentacled creature prowling the deep ocean is unsettling, but imagine one that can grow up to 50 feet long, with hundreds of fine teeth and sharp hooks lining its long, muscular limbs, and has gigantic eyes that can reach 40 centimeters in diameter. Are you frightened yet? Good, because it's completely true. Sightings of the gigantic squid and its larger cousin, the colossal squid, have claimed that these creatures can grow to be over 65 feet long. While no scientific evidence of this has been found, they can live up to 1,000 meters below the surface and are quite difficult to locate, so you never know. The Kraken, a mythological sea creature that lives beneath the dark waters off the coasts of Norway and Greenland, has dragged people to their deaths in the deep sea due to its elusive nature. El Chupacabra From a young age, we're taught not to approach scary-looking canines. While no one has been able to capture a clear image of Bigfoot, the Kraken or the Loch Ness Monster, there's one monster that is strangely unafraid of being photographed, the famous El Chupacabra. In the 1970s, the Chupacabra was originally discovered in Puerto Rico. In the late 1990s, there was a surge of sightings. During this time, blood-soaked livestock was discovered all over Puerto Rico. Locals were alarmed by the Chupacabra or goat sucker attacks, believing that a vampire was feeding on their cattle. The majority of reports describe a hairless alien-like monster with spines along its back and glaring red eyes, something you wouldn't want to run into at night. The Penis Snake This is, in fact, a real animal. Yes, we are aware that the actual David Attenborough would never use crude language. When this specimen was first discovered in Brazil in 2011, everyone went insane. The Atretacoana Icelti is the scientific name for this two-eyed snake, and it's a rare limnus amphibian rather than a snake. 
Whatever it is, we're going to stick with the penis snake for its name. A Tretokoana Icelti, once the pinnacle of evolution, now being giggled at on the internet for looking like a cock, stated from David Attenborough himself. The snake was first spotted in the Brazilian rainforest by Sir Graham Hales in the late 1800s while on an expedition with Sir Brian Dahl, but was rediscovered in 2011 by engineers working on a hydroelectric dam project in Brazil. Komodo Dragon Now that you've seen the adorable little blue dragon, here's a massive man-eating dragon waiting to devour you. Komodo dragons have been around for millions of years, so don't imagine you'll be able to fight one. They'll eat almost anything, including deer, pigs, smaller dragons, buffalo, and yes, humans. One of these big lizards murdered an 8-year-old kid in 2007. A year later, a group of scuba divers were encircled and assaulted by a troop of dragons for two days and two nights, which was traumatic. As a result, I'd keep away from this species of animal. Narwhal Around 80,000 narwhals, often known as sea unicorns, live in the Arctic waters around Greenland, Canada, and Russia. While the narwhal can grow up to 18 feet in length, it's the sword-like, spiraling ivory tusk that protrudes from their heads, mostly found on males, that has enchanted biologists for decades. Nobody knows for sure what the tusk's purpose is, although it's thought to be utilized in mating rituals to impress females and fight off other suitors. Perhaps it's simply some extremely cool headgear. The tusks have lately been shown to be extremely sensitive, and researchers believe they are utilized to help feel the surroundings around them. A Titano Boa This is, in a nutshell, everyone's greatest fear. With a length of about 50 feet and a weight of more than a ton, the Titano Boa was by far the largest, longest, and heaviest snake ever discovered. It was enormous. It was so large that the thickest part of its body would reach just below the waist of an average man. Around 58 million years ago, it went extinct as well. The once colossal snake roamed the area that is now La Guajira in northeastern Colombia. They could reach a length of 12.8 meters, or 42 feet, and a weight of 1,135 kilograms. Titanoboa fossils have been discovered in the Carajon Formation and date back 58 to 60 million years ago. The enormous snake lived during the middle to late Paleocene Epoch, some 10 million years after the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Stephalian Birds Hercules's task including slaying the Stephalian birds, who were man-eating birds with the unusual habit of dropping manure. The Greeks weren't the only ones who used scary bird stories to scare their children. Similar traditions of Paukai or Hokioi, a large black and white bird that swooped down from the sky to pluck out little children, were told by the Maori tribe of New Zealand. These thunderbirds were known to exist, according to scientists today. The species, known as Host's eagle, was over six feet tall, with a wingspan of nearly eight feet. The host eagle would perch above trees before swooping down at 60 miles per hour to ambush its prey. Then it would use sharp talons to dismember its meal before the poor slob could even think about tossing excrement. Hercules would have perished in the face of these demons. However, you should be able to get a good night's sleep tonight. We believe the host eagle went extinct around the 15th century. The Goblin Shark Goblin sharks, also known as Mitsukurina ostani, are an uncommon deep-sea shark species. It is the only existing member of the Mitsukurinidae family, which dates back 125 million years. It's sometimes referred to as a living fossil, with an elongated flat snout and strongly protrusable jaws bearing conspicuous nail-like teeth. This pink-skinned mammal has a striking profile, a deep-sea creature that has acquired its name thanks to its exquisite appearance. Its broad, flat snout and protruding jaw become even more apparent in death, emphasizing its ominous aspect. When fully grown, it is normally between 3 and 4 meters long, though it can grow much larger, and one collected in 2000 was estimated to be 6 meters long. Goblin Sharks are benthopelagic Goblin Sharks are benthopelagic organisms that live at depths greater than 100 meters on upper continental slopes, underwater canyons, and seamounts all around the world. With adults being found deeper than youngsters, according to some experts, these sharks could dive to depths of up to 1,300 meters for short periods of time. And there you have it, some of the world's craziest legendary animals you may have never known existed. Some of these creatures are just mind-blowing that they ever did exist in a world where humans did, and 
and others are animals we still see now or are very similar. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on any of the new and upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.